Growing up, I never really thought anything of it. My father being legendary surfer, multiple world champion, <laughs> to me, he was always just my dad. My very first memories of riding a wave as a child were clinging onto his back and riding the waves all the way to shore. It was there and then that my love and passion for the ocean truly began. I think it was always inevitable. Not fate that I was going to follow in my father's footsteps. From a young age getting to spend so much time with surf royalty. Not only with my father Nat, but other legends such as Donald Takayama, George Greeno and Bob McTavish. Their influence and guidance have definitely shaped who I am today. And now with two world titles to my name, the transition to shaping and honing the craft is where my passion lies. I first started shaping boards in my early 20s under the guidance and influence of Dad. Throughout my career, I've had the chance to work with shapers such as Donald Takayama and legendary Australian shapers such as Paul Hutchinson and Ed Sinnott. Combining their influences and having always loved the styles of the 60s and 70s, where boards were a little wider, a little thicker, stronger and heavier for flow, I like to think that my shapes are also easy to understand, easy to ride and designed with fun in mind. When it comes to people riding my boards, I also like to think they are getting a little piece of surf history. It would have been over 20 years now since Tim and I first met. We were surfing down a broken head and riding alternative equipment. Definitely alternative boards for the time. It's pretty funny seeing the parallels between Tim and myself. Our surfing mindsets and just the similarities. We both have nine foot four Takayamas in the same color, which is definitely classic. The first model of Tim's that I rode was the Zephyr. It's basically a high performance fun board. Nice and wide with two hits through the tail, subtle concaves. And I actually rode this board as a thruster, which I don't often do, but I really like that board. I just think all the elements came together on that model. I rode the 5.6, it was vibrant and lively, and just a really fun board. Tim and my ideologies are the same, and now being a part of the surfboard warehouse, it feels like such a natural synergistic connection. The first concept I brought to Tim was what is now the carbon jet. I remember it vividly because it was the first time that Tim and I actually stood in the shaping bay together. We got a chance to play with the board's rails, concaves and overall curve. And I feel what we did together was really create something special. Since then, we have developed some really cool things with the surfboard warehouse. Getting to assist in the creation of S-Lab was pretty special. Designing a creative space where you can research and develop new craft and truly test our designs. Looking back over the last 20 years, it's really quite amazing to see the progression and changes within surfing. For my family, Tim and I to be part of all this, it's surreal. And I'm really excited about what the future holds. 